Hello everyone, flying high here, Electronic Fire Pilot School, and today we're going to learn how to land the DCS F-14 Tomcat on a land base. But as you know, the F-14 is a naval fighter, so it's meant to be deployed from aircraft carriers. So what real Tomcat pilots do in real life is that they will actually practice feel carrier landings every chance they get after their training missions so before going to the boat you need to practice and be super skillful on landing your aircraft on an airfield using the exact same pattern you would use on the boat and once you're good at that you're gonna be ready for the boat so let's start with the procedure as we come close to the Nellis Air Force Base runway 21 right is going to be our carrier per se so first of all what we need to do is fly at about eight 400 knots at 800 feet above ground level so that's it right there 2600 feet is going to be 800 feet above ground level here in Las Vegas and I'm doing 400, 350 knots, which is perfect. I'm going to sweep back my wings. Part of the procedure, as you come by the carrier, see the carrier maybe to your left. You have your sweep, your wings swept back. Make sure to trim up so you don't lose a lot of altitude. So wings are swept back, looking cool. Here's where I would drop my hook. In this case, I'm not doing that because we're actually not going to trap. We have no wires. So as I come to the right of the carrier and I pass the bow of the ship I'm going to do my brake I'm going to turn left I'm going to open my speed brake all the way and I'm going to put my wings on auto mode and that's going to open my wings all the way I'm going to watch my speed my altitude trying to stay 800 feet above ground level I went a little low there I recovered I'm going to put my throttle in idle now, let the aircraft bleed some speed, bleed some speed, so air brake open, good turn, and as we come around to the front of the ship, or the airfield in this case, I am actually going to intercept the downwind pattern parallel to the airfield, so here here is where I want to drop my landing gear making sure I am below 200 knots which I am gear is coming down watch your speed all the time and I also want to drop my flaps flaps are coming down keep your altitude a little high there we're okay I'm gonna put my hood in landing mode I could have done this before but doing it now it's fine so the landing hood in the Tomcat has an E bracket you see it come down right now that's that E bracket you want to put it on your in the middle of your horizon there on your aircraft datum which is that dot with some wings in the middle of the hood I'm a little fast right now but we're okay we should be around 600 feet above ground level, which we are right now. A little bit 100 feet high, but that's okay. Align a beam to the left of the carrier, if we were, lo if we were looking to it from behind. I'm going to put my DLC engage, putting some power there, staying on speed, angle of attack. You can see my yellow dot flashing there, so we're fine. So, DLC, direct lift control, testing it. It's gonna help me control little inputs with my aircraft as I come down. I think it looks good, everything looks good. Now, as I come across the back of the ship, I'm gonna start a left turn. Accelerate, because when you turn, you're gonna lose some speed. Try to maintain your airspeed, your airspeed, your altitude. Always look where you're going, look for your landing zone have to control it all the time all the time now as I come here 
a little high, a little fast, but it's okay, I'm gonna correct it. As I come to the final approach phase, I'm gonna level my wings, and if this was a carrier, I would look for the meatball. Okay, so I should be around 300 feet from the ground here, that's why you heard the alarm. And now I would say something like 105 Tomcat ball at 9.3 that's 9300 pounds of 200 fuel feet. and now I'm gonna line to the middle of the runway I'm a little fast so putting my throttle throttle back 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 wait for touchdown and touchdown there I would put my throttle again to 100% to trap the wire in this case we don't have a wire so we're just gonna shoot again up and that was a touch and go. If we would have trapped the wire, then would, we would be on deck, safe. And in this case, well, you can go around and around, practice this many times. Real life pilots do this eight to 10 times after each mission. So make sure you practice this before going to the boat. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video learn something new and I'll see you guys in the skies.